Hi, yeah, we were... We are in the back. Um, we have a National Chimney Sweep Training School. We had 20 students in from all over the country in the outside demonstrating how a chimney flue tile breaks in heat. And then our phone started pinging with that uh, weather alert. Uh, we knew there was a uh, weather issue in the area. I went to the kind of the side of the building looking west, and I was just had my iPhone out. I was kind of watching the clouds, wondering where it was coming from, and all of a sudden it sort of just sort of formed a v-shape in the sky kind of like i'm like is that a tornado i mean it was one of those clouds that sort of it was already low you know i wasn't quite sure what i was looking at i just saw well okay tornado warning in the area could it be one took a few pictures um that thing moved so quickly from that v-shape to then it kind of jumped kind of north of us and then went east and then all of a sudden you hear about uh tornado hitting at Perry and US-40, which is about where that thing was going. Uh, it was sort of headed in kind of a, a northeasterly direction from our facility. We're located about uh, maybe a, a building away from I-70, and we're just west of the airport. So I think we saw it kind of jump and create in the sky, and then, and then and it just moved on then. Uh, Tom, stay with me a second as I let viewers know what they're seeing right now. They're looking at uh, Brook School Road and I-69, a lot of rain coming down there. On the right-hand side of your picture, you're seeing the radar as the storms continue to move north, northeast. Kevin will be along shortly to tell you uh, more about that. Tom, back to you now. So before you heard the uh, alerts on your phone, you really didn't have any indication that the storm was that bad near you? We thought it was in Morgan County and going to go maybe south of us. But all of a sudden, uh, the, again, our, our phones pinged with that, with that warning from the Weather Service. And again, we have people from all over the country who are here, New Jersey, Vermont. We had a guy from Oklahoma. He was, of course, curious, tornado in Indiana, do you all have tornadoes in Indiana? <laughs> I said, not very often in Indianapolis. They do happen. I remember a lot of them. Uh, and I'm lucky, we're very lucky that uh, it stayed away from us because, again, we had 20 students here from, in school, and, and it was kind of a a temporarily scary situation. Uh, now they're back in, in class learning about ladder safety and we're back to normal. Well, Tom, we appreciate you uh, snapping this picture and getting it to us so we could get it to all of our viewers because it's important when we see pictures like this so our experts can really tell us what we've been experiencing. We can put the radar with the pictures and the eyewitness accounts and we appreciate that. Thanks, Tom. We'll uh, check back in with you. Appreciate your time. We